In this session, let's learn about incremental backups. The incremental backup performs the backup of only the data file blocks that have changed since the previous backup. Okay, let me repeat that. This incremental backups are used to backup only the data file blocks that have been changed since the last backup. Okay, using these incremental backups, you can back up the entire database or individual table spaces or individual data files. Okay, why do we need to go for an incremental backup? We go for an incremental backup because the amount of time needed for a daily backup is reduced. We can save the network bandwidth when backing up the database over the network. And also, we don't need lot of space to store this backup information, right? Yes, the goal is it will lead to a faster backup and less storage is required. Okay, how will Oracle perform this incremental backup? It has an algorithm. We know each data block in a data file has a system change number, right? So during the incremental backup, it will check the current system change number with the checkpoint system change number of the parent incremental backup. If the system change number in the data block is greater than or equal to the checkpoint system change number of the parent, then the data block is copied or else it will be ignored. So simple, right? Based on the system change number, it can easily figure out whether the data block is being changed or not from the previous backup. Okay. In incremental backup, we have two types of backup. They are level 0 and level 1. In level 1, again, we have differential incremental backup and cumulative incremental backup. Level 0, the level 0 backup is similar to a full backup where it backs up all the data blocks which contains data. But this backup is marked as level 0 so that it can be used as a parent for the subsequent backup. Okay, let me repeat that again. This level 0 backup is just like your full backup, but it is marked as level 0 backup so that it can be used as a parent for all the level 1 backups. Okay, now in the level 1, we have a differential incremental backup and a cumulative incremental backup. Now, let's check the differential incremental backup level 1. When you start this differential incremental backup, a level 0 is taken. You see here, on a Sunday, a level 0 backup is taken. And then, from Monday to Saturday, a differential incremental level 1 backup backs up all the blocks that have been changed since the most recent incremental backup at level 1 or zero. You see here, on Monday, it just took the backup of all the data blocks that changed from the level zero backup. On Tuesday, it took backup of all the data blocks that changed since the last level one. Like this, all of them will take the backup of all the changes which happened since the last level one backup. Okay. And then again, once a level zero backup happens on a Sunday, it will take the full backup of all the data blocks that have the data. And again, from Monday, the differential incremental backup starts. That means the differential incremental backup will backup all the blocks that have been changed since the last level zero or level one backup. Okay. So now, let's see how a cumulative happens. The cumulative is on Sunday, the level 0 happens, where a full backup happens. On Monday, it takes the backup of all the changes which happened from level 0. And again on Tuesday, it will take all the blocks that have changed since level 0. So, ultimately, whenever level 1 is performed using cumulative method, it will backup all the data blocks that have been changed since the last level 0 backup. Okay, and again on a Sunday you see here 
the level zero has happened and again from monday the cumulative backup is taking the backup of all data blocks that have changed since the last level zero okay how do you remember that in a cumulative backup it will backup all the changes that have been changed since the last level zero backup that's it but whereas in a differential backup first it will check if a level one backup is there if it is present it will take till that point if it is not there then it will take till zero okay just remember that and you should be good so now what are the advantages of going for cumulative or incremental so let's check the recovery speed on both of them the cumulative backups are much faster to restore than the differential why it is faster because we need to apply only few incremental backups to perform the recovery suppose if you have to recover the database on a friday if you just apply this cumulative backup taken on a friday morning that should be good you can recover the database whereas in a differential if you have to perform a recovery on a friday you need to take this backup taken on a friday you need to take this backup taken on a thursday you need to take this backup taken on a wednesday you need to take this backup taken on a tuesday you need to take this backup taken on a monday so totally you need to take five differential backups to recover the database but whereas on accumulate you if you just take this one which was taken on friday morning that should be good enough for your recovery that is the reason recovery is much faster in a cumulative backup and the next dimension which we will look is backup speed obviously differential backups run faster than the cumulative backups the reason is cumulative backups have to go back and back up all the changes that happened since level 0 but whereas differential backup will have to go only to the last level 1 backup that is why the differential backups run faster than the cumulative backups and the final one is the disk space usage obviously we know since cumulative backups go all the way back to the level 0 there will be lot of data blocks that have changed so cumulative backups take more disk space than the incremental backups okay please revisit this video again so that you can understand these concepts better and use them in the recovery manager okay